guys welcome back to my channel thanks again for popping by today i am here with my new mum essentials i have had four babies now so i'd like to think that i know kind of like the best or the most used products in the first kind of few weeks as you're a new mum so yeah i've just put together actually what i think is essential and what i have been using over the last few weeks so yeah, anyway, I'll just crack on and I hope you enjoy it. So I've got them all in bed with me. So um, first of all, I'm going to start off with this Medela Swing Pump. It's the single electric breast pump and I have used this with all four babies now and it is definitely a must have for me. I used it all the time and I have only actually just stopped using it, but it's been through all four babies and it is so, so handy. I cannot tell you. Um, if you're breastfeeding then you can express and let your hubby or partner or whoever to take over a feed just so you can get some rest and it has been a lifesaver. I did actually have a manual breast pump but I just found it too much hard work when actually this was brilliant and you can like feed on one side and pump from the other and yeah it's just so so easy um i've got it all actually in this little bag because it was just handy to carry around with me everywhere so <clears throat> yeah this was um a must have for me and along with that number two is the lantano lanolin um nipple cream and again this is a <laughs> must have because as you know you can get very very sore and this just eases off the pain so yeah i have used this there's like not much left actually um, and i think this is my second i can't remember how many tubes but yeah this is definitely a must have so next actually is just some paracetamol um just some pain relief at home because after my fourth after francesco i suffered really really bad from after pains and they were so so painful and even worse when i fed him so um yeah i was taking regular paracetamol for the weeks because i was just in so much pain i don't know if anybody has had after pains not every woman gets them but i was unlucky and um i've had them after i had them after nico but not half as bad as what i had them after marco they were really painful after marco and then this time round it was like I was going through labour all over again. It was just crazy. So yeah, regular paracetamol for me was a must have as well. Also as well, this is it's in a bag, but I've had this for a while. And again, I think I used this after all four, but it is just a hot water bottle. And I use this all the time as well because of my pain. So along with the paracetamol, I would use my hot water bottle just to kind of soothe um, my tummy area because it was obviously very tender um, and yeah just to make me feel a little bit better um something about having a hot water bottle and a nice hot drink is just so cozy and especially in this weather obviously this time of year has been not the greatest so yeah um it soothed my back pain as well because i also had back labor and i just i just ached after my labor just constantly ached and obviously the after pains as well they were so sore so along with the paracetamol the hot water bottle definitely did the trick for me um obviously breast pads i went through so many of these um these ones are just tesco's own and actually they did the trick so yeah um must have essential definitely breast pads and along with those tesco's maternity towels i do have a few left but um obviously the bleeding after you've given birth you need maternity towels because yeah i think i've used these well, up until around seven weeks, actually, I I bled for quite a while after Francesco. I don't know if that's because, I don't know, the more children you have, the more, I don't know, the longer it takes to recover. I don't know, but I don't ever remember bleeding for that long after the others. But yeah, I think I used these for about seven weeks, but I went through so many of these. Um, but again, these are just Tesco's own and they are very, very good. They, um, they did the trick. So yeah, definite must have. Also, I've been using this daily and nighttime if I can as well, just to kind of try and smooth out my skin a little bit. I don't know if it actually works. Um, I was very lucky enough to not have any visible stretch marks, but I have very, very soft 
kind of wrinkly like um a shriveled up old apple that kind of you know when the skin goes all wrinkly and and soft it's kind of like that especially around my belly button area so i was kind of hoping that this is going to do the trick for me and just help kind of like smooth out the skin a little bit it does say here that it's for dry skin as well and my skin has been awfully dry i don't know whether it's the weather obviously it being cold and the snow but i've had such dry skin and and this has helped but it says um it relieves rough dry skin um and it's supposed to soothe marks and tone skin so i am going to carry on using this religiously in the hopes <laughs> that i have a toned tummy very soon so yes i've been using this daily as well so for me this was an essential item also i cannot rave enough about this dry shampoo i pretty much use it every day because i don't often get a chance to wash my hair this is actually just girls only hair care i got it from tesco's and it was one of the cheapest ones only because it's um a no residue one so it's nude whereas some of the other ones like the baptiste ones i think they leave uh, a white sort of powdery kind of look in my hair so then it ends up looking like I've got grey hair which is not ideal Um, it's, it's obviously better for blonde hair but because my hair is so dark yeah it just made my roots look really kind of grey um, but this one yeah the no residue nude I can literally spray so much on and you cannot even see it and the nice thing about this as well is that it just gives you volume too so even though it's obviously greasy and when my hair's getting longer now it's so thick that it's it just kind of like pulls it all down so when I use this not only does it make it look like I freshly washed it but also it gives it some volume which is really really nice so yeah this I use pretty much every day obviously unless I wash my hair which is probably once a week if that and this is kind of a baby essential and a mum essential now this is definitely my mum essential because it means i can get stuff done look it's so long i can't even show you it all but this is my baby sling um i just have a liberty sling i don't know if you can see that but i literally get up in the morning choose an outfit and then put the wrap on because <laughs> There is going to be a couple of points in the day where I need to get stuff done, need to cook the boys some tea or some lunch or whatever, um, and also deal with Francesco. So I find that if I just have this on during the day constantly, then at least I don't have to faff around with it when he needs me or if he's crying. Then I, I've got it on already and then I can just whip him in there and it's just so easy to get him in, so easy to get him out. If he falls asleep in there, I can just instead of unraveling it all i can literally just like prise it apart lift him out and do the transfer <laughs> um but yeah this is 100 percent a mum essential for me i've just i mean i get housework done i get dinner done i get to play around with the boys still and give them attention without having to worry about standing there and rocking him and holding him you know i can still walk around the house or hoover and he'll end up falling asleep in there because of the motion and being so close to me and i love that and it also means that I can give time to the boys um, and, yeah, give them attention, spend some time with them, play with them and also keep Francesco close. So, yeah, this is 100% probably top of my list of essential things that you need when you're a new mum is this Liberty Sling. I will um, link it down below. So if you are interested, then you can go over and um, grab yourself one because they are amazing. And this one I've had since Lorenzo was born. So all four of them have been in here. So this is something that I'm just going to treasure. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.